So what's the first thing you think of when I show you this picture? Delicious. Yuck. Yum. Bacon. Delicious. Yum. Horrendous. Ice cream. Bean bag. Fast. This whole exhibition has stemmed from the idea that fat is such an amazing substance. It's a whole family of molecules capable of doing a whole range of really exciting things. Fat has this bad reputation, you know, people see it in a, in a, in a negative way, you know. But without fat there'd be no life, and fat is critical for so many biological processes. It's essential for making membranes, for cells, it makes certain hormones. What's really interesting in fat is this duality, is this kind of question about on one hand there being significant health issues around obesity, but also that it's this marvellous molecule that has this amazing ability to store energy, and also, frankly, that it's delicious and that we want to eat it. So within the context of this show, we're really playing with that duality and asking our visitors to come in and take part in a series of experiments and demonstrations that in some ways contribute directly to real research that we're providing to them through the context of a very unique unique diner. So what's going on here is um, the starters from our menu. So what we've got going at the moment is mainly um, taking people's blood pressure using the pulsation platter. They've been taking part in a range of demonstrations which involve looking at the chemical structure of fat and its reactivity, how it is attracted to or repelled by water. Fat comes from grass and vegetation. It's a very natural thing, it's just how our body metabolizes it, which really makes us good, bad, or, you know, neutral. How does food become fat? How does fat become energy? How does fat become part of our bodies? How is there more? How is there less? How is there good? How is there bad? You'd love people to be thinking about that and then wanting to find out more. Oh, it's really interesting. Yeah, it puts fat in a new perspective, new, new dimensions on fat. It's quite good, like when you're covered in sticky ice cream, you can just eat, wash your hands with human fat. The name of my piece is Making Soap, and so it's a documentation of a process that I went to to have liposuction done on my body, and then make 20 bars of soap out of it. Uh, it's nice actually, it's really soft, <laughs> strangely. The concept of body fat puts you off a little bit, you know, but actually it's nice, you recycle. I really like the fat suit that's over there. Uh, it's just a great concept to see how people deal with that kind of extra weight when they're not used to it. It's been disconcerting eating bits of food while then staring at things which make you not want to go near food as well. But there's pig fat marinating in putching. Um, apparently putching can break down fat. So maybe there should be a putching diet in future. Working with artists and people like um, Kevin Thornton, the chef, you can explore concepts in a way that allows people to develop quite a different sort of understanding than if you just talk at them about the science all the time. The good thing about this show is it's very hands-on. A lot of art exhibits you can't touch, whereas you're actively asked to engage and touch and feel and be part of this exhibition. This is Canapé, which is a couple of Art Deco chairs stuffed with human fat. It might be disgusting to sit on this fat, but it's actually a commodity which could be used to fuel cars in the future. And it's actually quite comfortable. <laughs> so essentially, fat, it's delicious, provides you with an opportunity where you can sit on fat, wash yourself with it and taste it. So we hope you come along and find it as delicious as we do.